Welcome back. I apologize for my camera switching itself off when the, pre the la part two of Brahms and Clara Schumann, a creative friendship, was almost complete. There was just 10% left. So instead of scrapping the whole video, uh, I uploaded it. And here is the last 10% that remained. So as I was telling you when the camera stopped, um, you know, Robert and Clara Schumann had become Brahms's baptism of fire. Uh, he had never met a couple as poetic as these two, and he, their tragedy devastated him. Here is a letter he wrote at the time to Clara Schumann. The world does not deserve that people like you and your husband should be on earth at all. And I feel uplifted when I think that I may see the time when people will idolize you, two such holy poetic beings. I almost wish that the world in general might forget you, so that you could remain all the more sick to the elect. At the age of 20, barely out of his adolescence, Brahms was as his friend Joachim aptly described him, pure as a diamond, soft as snow, a relationship of unfathomable complexity began to develop between these two great musicians, Brahms and Clara Schumann. Clara was the first artist to play Brahms' music in public. Brahms was at that time completely unknown. And she included his music in all her concerts and started with his F minor piano sonata, two movements, because the whole sonata was not yet completed. The sonata has five movements. This, by the way, was not the sonata he had dedicated to her. That was an earlier one, the one in F sharp minor. The sonata in F minor that Clara Schumann loved was actually dedicated to the Countess Hohenthal and uh, Brahms dedicated it to her, to the Countess, because she was his student at the time. And it was Clara Schumann who had suggested to the Countess that she should take piano lessons with Brahms. And so Brahms stayed in Dusseldorf while Clara traveled and pioneered his music as she had pioneered Schumann's music 20 years earlier and he wrote to her, Dear Mrs. Schumann, I cannot tell you what I feel when I think of my music being transfigured under your fingers. If my great longing for your return has any influence on my composition, it will, my music will soon be able to cast a spell over people. What have you done to me? Can you not take away this spell that you have cast on me? And on that note, we will conclude part two of the creative friendship between Brahms and Clara Schumann. Thank you once again. Thank you so much for watching.